Last time we went into the Horsewater Aqueduct in 2013, we went in for two weeks. We'd never shut the aqueduct down since it had been commissioned in the 1950s. And this was the first time man had gone in in the tunnel. But this time we're going in for four weeks, twice the work. We've set up a camp this time or a, a training site in Leyland and we're training around 400 people. Buddy who may need to go in that tunnel needs to be fully trained in confined space, emergency evacuation procedures, vehicle driving, casualty evacuation. Everybody is defibrillator trained in case uh, there's an incident down the tunnel. We are self-rescue. So everybody on that team needs to be able to look after everybody else and get them out and back to the surface. We're also training everybody in the really important, uh, the real importance of hygiene. This is a potable water main. This is people's drinking water that goes down here when we're out and we don't want to introduce anything to that pipe that would cause problems. The challenge for me is managing 400 people on 30 locations over 100 miles and making sure that everybody goes home in the same condition but maybe slightly more tired then they came to work in safety is, is utmost. The beauty with this project and this is what all the planning uh, and all the preparation leads to is the fact that we take this pipe that provides up to a third of the Northwest's drinking water, we take it out of service and there is no change whatsoever to the water that comes out of the customer's taps.